Hey guys, this is iMaster here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the open source program OpenOffice. Okay, so OpenOffice can be downloaded at openoffice.org. It's completely free, by the way. Um, Alright, now, as for platforms, um, I, I don't know of any that it doesn't support. Windows, Linux, Solaris, Mac OS X, Intel, and PowerPC Max. Um, just about, that's everything I've heard of, anyway. So, um, go ahead and download it. And then, it is a rather large download. Um, maybe an hour or so. But it's worth it. Because, especially for Mac users. Because what we get is we get text edit. And basically, that's notepad for that's the equivalent of notepad for Windows users. It's just horrible. Okay, so let's start with the text document. All right, right off, um, it looks like Microsoft's Word or WordPerfect. Um, so we can center, that's its title. You know, we have you know text. Um, we can make it bigger. We can change the font, and that's another thing I like about this program. It shows you the font. I just hate programs that don't show you the font, and you have to go through each one seeing what it is. Okay, well, that looks good. We can add bullets, add numbering, bullets, numbering, font color. Helps if you have it selected. Highlight, background color, okay, you can add a table, Let's make this one 4 by 4 um, say, Alright, so, yeah. So, I haven't found anything yet that um, WordPerfect or Microsoft Word can't do. As for file format formats, it can open um, all Word Perfect documents, all Microsoft documents. Um, it can save as doc, 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 um, XML. HTML for text, just plain text, a um, bunch of file formats. Okay. Now we're going to go into the spreadsheet. This is um, basically Microsoft Excel. You can create um, charts. They have both kinds of bar graphs, vertical and horizontal. Pie charts, area, um, line graphs, line graphs, X, Y, scatter graphs, net graphs, stock graphs, or stock chart, I guess, and columns and lines. Um, so I haven't created a data chart, so I'm not going to continue making my graph, but it can do that. You can do um, formulas. Um, uh, you can make tables, um, basically everything Microsoft Excel can do. Like I said, this is um, Microsoft Office for free. I mean, it's amazing. Okay, now moving on to presentation. Now, I have found flaws with the presentation. Um, it's great for creating, you know, very basic 
um, transition uh, PowerPoints probably would work for just about anything for school. <laughs> um, but if you want something that looks a little bit more professional, you probably have to seek out either a third-party program dedicated to slideshows or buy, you know, Microsoft PowerPoint or um, Keynote by, for Mac, whatever. So, just giving you a heads up. But for the text editing and the spreadsheet, it's definitely worth it. All right, let's take a little further look. Um, looks a lot like PowerPoint. Insert a new slide. I'm sniffling a lot, guys, because I've been sick. I was just really congested, so um, forgive me for that. Um, all right, let's say I'm a web. Okay. And we can double click, add a graphic. We could add transitions. Now the transitions are going into the slide that is selected. So this would be like the entrance transition. And this would be the one in between them. Okay. Um, it also can do custom animations. Do that so that looks really cool um, it does do rehearse timing so that you don't have to click but I haven't gotten that to work that's one of the flaws it has I haven't found a way to add um, sound effects but I'm sure there is a way I don't use this as much but I'm sure that a lot of people you know they, they need PowerPoints so um, I would definitely recommend OpenOffice, especially to Mac users, because you can just not survive on text editing. You just can't. It's impossible. Don't even try. Okay? Download this. Um, <laughs> uh, subscribe on my channel. Leave comments to um, request any more videos, please. I'm always open to ideas. Um, thanks for watching, guys.